This is Piglet, a giant pigarami. And these are Piglet's friends. Piglet and his friends are beloved family pets. And in this case, the client set up and has taken care of their aquarium for nearly seven years. As you can see, they're very well cared for, but could use a bigger home. So inside of 24 hours, we're going to move Piglet and his friends to some temporary digs in the garage and install a brand new 12 foot completely redesigned system in the process of getting rid of all of this junk and including this thing which is clearly has to go. So using water from the aquarium we fill up this huge vat in the garage and this is where we'll keep the fish while we install the new tank. Playco master Mike Sensky showing how it's done. So with the water level down low, it's Piglet's turn. Millie says she can't bear to watch. Everything goes really smooth, as you can see. Yeah, we've done this before. So Piglet's off to the garage to join his friends. All goes well. Uh, the old shop back trick coming through once again. A few extra hands on deck. We get the old tank shuttled out. The area cleaned and ready until. So it looks like this thing is not going to fit through the door. Despite our calculations, it's off by just a couple inches. We try a few old tricks, but in the end, we got to get creative. And we end up, yeah, coming through a window. We were fortunate enough to get a company out there in about half an hour. The tank comes through, they reinstall the window, and we're good to go. We're holding there to get started on the plumbing. We check in on our friends out in the garage. We've got them hooked up with a big filter, a heater, lots of variation. They appear to be doing just fine. This whole custom fabricates all the bulkheads and plumbing right there on site. We never cut any corners using full Schedule 80 PVC throughout. Savannah says she approves. Frank dives in for some final cleanup, and Mike gets ready for aquascaping. We will use a very large gravel. Some of the fish may have a tendency to dig, and this will help prevent that. Now you know it's a large tank when Mike can fit inside the thing. Nice big pieces of driftwood, laid out and ready to go. We'll do some nice river stones with it. Because this wood does float, Michael placed some of those river stones carefully to keep it from bobbing up. The idea here is to keep the layout nice and open, plenty of swimming space for those large fish. Some smaller river stones for texture and detail, but we don't want to get too detailed with it. As this client will be maintaining her own aquarium, I want to keep it simple and efficient. Mike decides to warm it up with just a few plants. But again, keeping it simple. Our two main goals are plenty of swimming space for the fish and ease of maintenance for the client. At the same time, we do want an effective aquascape, something visually pleasing. With this river bottom theme, I think we've achieved that. Plumbers come in to finish installing the built-in drain and fill. We'll hard plumb right into that drain. Eric and Holt finish up some other plumbing. We bring in the new wet-dry filter. This one's from Precision Marine. They make awesome stuff. With that sump set, it's time to start filling. Two hoses just weren't enough, so we brought in a third. This thing could take a while to fill. The rest of the plumbing finished, including the big Eheim canister filters, and that great built-in drain. Schedule 80, PVC, hard pipe right in. Water changes just got a lot easier. As we start facing the fish back in, we're thrilled to see they're feeling right at home. Our setup in the garage has kept them really healthy and stable throughout. 
Finally, it's time for Piglet to rejoin his friends in their new home. We're so excited to see that Piglet endured the whole move, being set up in the garage, and the transition back into the new tank just perfectly. Now that's a happy Piglet. Holt makes a few last minute adjustments. Mike goes over some finer points and details for the client. It's another successful mission. Piglet and his friends have an awesome new home. That's one happy fish.